Biomonitoring helps us understand the chemicals in our environment and how they affect our health. It's the most reliable way to find out what chemicals, and how much of those chemicals, we have in our bodies. And public health officials use that information to make important decisions that affect our health. Biomonitoring shapes our public health policies and nutrition guidelines. It also helps us respond to chemical-related emergencies faster and more effectively. Biomonitoring is a useful tool, but like any tool, it's important to understand its limitations and use it responsibly. Biomonitoring can only tell us whether someone has chemicals in their body. It can't predict whether that person will have health problems in the future. Just because people have a chemical in their blood or urine does not mean that the chemical causes health problems. And some chemicals, like radon, may be safe in small amounts, but cause health problems in larger amounts. There are some chemicals, like lead, that we know cause health problems. But for most chemicals, we still have questions about exposure levels that may cause health problems. That's why CDC scientists are doing research that can help us to learn more about the relationship between chemical exposure and health problems. This research will help us understand which chemicals may cause health problems and which chemicals don't, so we can use biomonitoring data more effectively in the future. If you'd like to learn more about biomonitoring, take a look at the resources on this page. Explore the resources below this video.